It's winter time here in Maryland, so it'll be a while before I get out of North Carolina or South Carolina and try these out. And uh, I'll shoot some video, you know, in five, six months or so and see how these things did. How's it going everybody? Kevin Gleason here and today I'm making some pier anchors and I'm making them out of stuff that I got around the house. Ordered a new lead melting pot which uh, I tried out making this one and it seems once it's heated up about six minutes to melt the lead. Ten minutes not heated and lead I'm using today is an old throw net that we found on a piling that was all dry rotted and I cut them off. A uh, piece of copper tube from my basement and I've already cut a little piece of the ones I'm gonna use. And some old tomato plants from my garden. Now, the gauge is probably a little bit thick than I normally would wanna use. But like I said, it's something that I um, found in my yard, decided to try it out. So let's see how it does. First off, all I'm going to do is bend tomato plants as good as I can. Pretty good. Get a second one. You know, just bend them as close as you can. All right, before I go, I want to go plug this thing in. It seems to like, it seems that it's going to take around 17 or 18 of those little anchors to uh, do it. So I'm just going to plug this thing in out of the way and drop some in here and it's just plugged in on my concrete i had a timer there earlier probably seeing the in the video it, it took about six to ten minutes to heat up and like i said i'm gonna drop about 20 of these in here Take about six to ten minutes to heat up, and we'll go over here and keep on with what I was doing. Again, copper pipe, that was cut, you know, four inches or so. What I want to do is get both of these in here, but I want one to stick out. I want one to stick out that way I can attach my anchor rod to it when I cast. So I'm gonna have one on the inside, one sticking out. This should look something like that. Just something to attach your anchor rod on. And then for now, I'm just gonna bend these things over to where I want them. And hopefully it'll hold together a little bit. With the pressure. So you can see. They're a little loose, but, and for right now, I'm just gonna leave them like this. I'm not gonna melt them, or I'm not gonna bend them until I melt the lead, so. Um, give it a minute. Let me show you what I'm doing over here. If you can see the ground, all I'm doing is just sticking it in the ground a little bit to hold it. Here's where I did one a minute ago. Just, enough to hold and stop the lead from going in. Here we go.
Okay, giving this thing some time to cool. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, let's go over here and uh, uh, finish this thing off. Let's see. And first thing I want to do is just bend it to where I like it. We'll cut on all of them. Oh, there we have it. Um, like I said, parts I found around the house, old copper tube, old tomato plants. And, uh, you know, they're a little heavier, maybe a little bigger than I wanted, but stuff I found around the house. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And please put in the comments, you know, what could I have done different? learning this on my own i've watched videos i've spent way too much money on this stuff in the past ordering them online and i decided to order that 35 dollars melting pot and uh that's what i got